Hi, slope lines are very useful when you have a scatter plot with two types of axes and you just want to compare um, what is leaning towards either um, X axis or Y axis. For example, here is a chart that shows app downloads and the slope line indicates which apps have been downloaded more in this week compared to last week. Uh, now adding them to XY charts can be a very interesting and powerful way to enhance them. In this video, I will explain them to you. Let's get into the Excel file here. Um, and this is uh, the sample that we are going to construct. So we will start off uh, from scratch and we will create this a type of a chart. Let's say you have some data with uh, some app sales or store information or whatever it may be uh, where you have some sort of a name and what happened in a prior time period and what is happening in the current time period. So we have this week versus last week uh, download information. So the very first thing to do would be just select everything and insert. Um, in fact, we don't need to select the app name. We'll just select last week, this week and insert a regular scatter plot so we would get something like this i will keep it here let's just move the original chart further down so we will make uh, this from scratch so we could see that this is what it is i'll delete the chart title for a minute so we can focus on the, the actual chart let's go and uh, look at the select data uh, to make sure that it has picked up the correct way uh, it would have given the series name as this week if you want you can just say app downloads here uh, and uh, and then x value is last week and y value is this week it's up to you how you want to arrange this you may want to flip this if you prefer seeing current week sales on the uh, x-axis so the way to read this chart is a, any dot that is closer to x-axis because x-axis is last week that means it had more sales or more downloads last week whereas any dot that is closer to y-axis indicates that this is actually downloaded more in the current week so an improvement or decrease but because there are so many it's kind of uh, very hard to read this and see and instantly compare which have done better or worse so this is where a slope line would come in handy. You will simply just uh, create a space in the worksheet where you have some dummy uh, access information. And then we will uh, simply add a slope line uh, and then just say X and Y. Uh, and then we will start from 0, 0. And uh, we could put some sort of an arbitrary number. For example, this seems to go up to 10,000. So maybe uh, 9,000, 9,000. Uh, and uh, that would that would be that and then let's go and select data add uh, slope line with uh, x L values as that and y values as this now this will also add uh, another set of dots so this would be in a different color because it's it's going to be treated as a separate series and uh, you will have two dots now let's right click on this and click on change chart type uh, go to combo um, and uh, well uh, I think I should probably do it from here uh, right click on the dots and then click change series chart type that will take it in a more straightforward manner and while the original dots can be scattered the slope line needs to be just a line so we will pick uh, the chart that looks like this this is just a scatter chart with straight lines no markers and that's it uh, that's that is our chart with slope line now you have dots and you also have a line depending on what you prefer you can format this for example um, you can select the line press ctrl 1 to format and uh, go to format options and um, you know set up the line color for example uh, something dark with the dotted line like that okay so that that would be the slope line and you can just adjust the chart size you can now add a chart title and access titles as well because the access has this week and last week and uh, we will just type uh, uh, last week here and uh, this week there and then as far as chart title is concerned uh, we could just say chart title should be equal to whatever that is uh, that would be 
in the chart title i will make this whole thing bold uh, and um, and you can also adjust the um, axis spacing for example here there seems to be 2000 every 2000 there is a vertical grid line so let's just do the same a major grid uh, unit will be 2000 here um, so there is a less uh, density of those lines uh, and uh, markers also you can format uh, depending on what you prefer but that's pretty much it in terms of adding the slope line uh, let's just add one extra piece of information which is we want to just uh, have a label on the chart somewhere that simply reads uh, the dots on this side of the line indicate more downloads this week so the first thing is you want to type in a cell more this week or something like that with an arrow there if you are thinking you know how do i get an arrow inside the cell uh, the simplest thing is you can go to the cell insert symbol and uh, pick an arrow symbol so you you just want to remain on the normal text and uh, select arrows and then you can insert one of these arrow symbols i will use it that arrow uh, and uh, that will insert an arrow symbol uh, and then you can just type more uh, downloads this week or whatever like that and that will give you that so once you have that kind of a thing just select the chart and go to insert text box and draw a text box inside the chart um, oops i think uh, i lost it uh, we will just have to do it again uh, draw a text box inside the chart and then say in the formula bar that text box shall be equal to uh, this text value that you have typed so now you have uh, a special label inside the chart uh, you can you can adjust the font size for this you can also put it in a different color set the alignment and everything uh, and that would be there on the chart the only extra step that i have done apart from all of these is uh, that i have applied some background color so you can just select this chart uh, fill it up with uh, some sort of a color select the internal part and fill it up with white color so you get this uh, two 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 shaded uh, kind of a box layout in the chart and that's how you can add a slope line none of these steps are necessary the only critical step is adding that now what if you don't want to hard code the numbers 9000 or something well obviously the initial point is zero zero but what about this one you don't need to have 9000 there you can simply say maximum of uh, the original data just select everything and that would be that uh, and this is same as that so we will will then have uh, a value that is kind of tied to the chart information if you want you can go ahead and then round this up to the nearest 2000 which is what the chart is also doing because the grid spacing is 2000 uh, and you would get 10,000 there so that's it uh, i hope you found this particular slope line technique uh, fairly interesting you can combine this with other chart techniques like highlighting elements that meet conditions or uh, showing items in a different color based on some sort of a criteria whatever and that would enhance the whole message in a great way thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you again in the next week Bye bye